Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Mona and in today's video, I will share some of my favorite picks from Nykaa. All these recommendations are going to be in makeup genre and currently Nykaa is having this Pink Friday sale and you get up to 50% offer on most of their products both in makeup and hair care, also skincare. Like every genre has great offers going on. Talk up all your favorite products. So I am today going to show some of my favorite makeup products as recommendation. And there are some exciting offers happening in the genres that I'm showing you here in the brand specifically. So the sale has started on 21st. It's late, I know, but it's better late than never, right? So I'm just going to show you quickly my recommendations. I have also made another video on my Tamil channel with all other different like makeup, skincare, hair care recommendations. You can definitely check that video as well. If you don't understand the language, go ahead and check the description box. I have given all the product links in the description box. You can definitely check them out. So now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. First, I have to finish up the high-end recommendations I have have just one brand which is definitely one of my favorite and I definitely have to show you some great options because they do make super good products I'm talking about Mac and they do also have this buy to get one free offer so do do check it out okay let me just quickly show you my current favorite my very recent favorite from Mac it's the Mac studio radiance moisturizing plus illuminating primer this is going to work like a two-in-one product. It has a very thick consistency and it also glows, okay? It's a dewy primer. It's going to hold the makeup for a very long time, gives a very nice dewy skin-like finish. And I'm really liking this. Today, I have this primer on and I have to say my skin is definitely looking so good, especially in person. So I highly recommend this primer slash moisturizer you can even skip moisturizer if you're planning on wearing this okay the next one is the max extreme black in extreme dimension 24 hour kajal it does what it says it's a 24 hour kajal it is going to stay there until you decide to remove it i mean it's super intense black in pigmentation super creamy lasts super long smudge proof waterproof tear proof everything proof i really love this kajal I mean, it is smaller in size, but you don't really need to sharpen it very often, even if you are applying this on a daily basis. Trust me on this. This is my second pencil, and I really like this Kajal pencil. You can definitely get this, especially during this offer time. I also forgot to show you the box that I received from Mica. It's a PR box, but I have to disclose that this video is not sponsored by them. All the products that I'm recommending are from my personal uh, collection, and these are like my personal recommendations. I also do have one last recommendation from MAC. Actually, I can recommend so many from MAC, but I have to keep like three products because you get this buy two get one offer, right? So you can definitely uh, make use of this offer with the recommendations that I give you. The third option that I'm going to show you is the MAC Stack Mascara. I mean, I love this mascara. I have talked about this mascara so many times on my Instagram, on my second channel, I mean, my, my first channel. I have not been making like consistent videos over here so i kind of missed to update you guys on this product basically i love this mascara today i have this mascara on and i definitely don't feel the need to apply any falsies whenever i have this mascara on it just volumizes my lashes lengthens it gives this nice black pigment stays super long it also is waterproof i really like this mascara I mean, you have to have to have to try this. I do think they do also have like a mini version of this mascara to give that a try if you want to try and see the magic that this mascara creates. Okay, let me just quickly put one small con with this mascara, two basically. One is that it's expensive, but the point that we are talking about this mascara in this video I'm recommending is because you can get on great deal. And uh, the other con that I was supposed to mention as the first one is that the wand is kind of sharp. The spikes, the bristles are too sharp and there are so many times where I poked myself with the wand and it was painful guys. So that's one major con I would say with the bristle but I think the wand is what is making the mascara super special so I have to have to keep that in mind and you have to be careful when you're working with this mascara basically so mac is done next i am going to show you my options from nika from the brand nika now from nika i would also like to give you like a perfume recommendation which is definitely not coming under the makeup recommendation because i told you that i would 
you know stay within the makeup genre but i am recently loving their uh, endless nights i think it's the new launch from them and they are running like a 40% offer on the range do check it out you can check out uh, the variants that i'm showing on the screen i just have checked out all the variants and uh, these four variants are like my favorite and i currently own them as well so i would highly recommend you to give them a try if you are a perfume lover like me so from nika on makeup genre i would recommend you this foundation it's the nika all day matte foundation definitely a must have if you're on the oilier skin side today i have this foundation on and i have to say this is like a very good foundation for my skin tone for my skin type as well because the shade matches me so well the formulation suits me so well it works great on oily skin lasts super long also it's it, it's everything on a budget right and this is the last dark shade they have this is called chestnut i really wish they had more darker shade for the people those who have deeper skin tone than my skin tone so it's going to be nice if they could bring out more darker shades but i have to appreciate that they have like a good darker shade i kind of like that about nika cosmetics base range because from all the variants that they have they do have like one or two shades that would suit dusky skin tone i mean dusky skin tone can actually decently work with those range i mean the shade range that's what i'm trying to tell you here so basically this foundation is a great foundation it's a nice long wear foundation very lightweight and it also has a good pigmentation so i definitely do recommend you to try this foundation if especially if your skin is on the oily skin side another recommendation from nika is their four color eyeshadow palette now i got two colors and i definitely want you guys to try these eyeshadow palettes if you don't really like to invest a lot on eyeshadow palettes or if you are someone who do not actually want to wear like different colors you just want to have like some neutral basic colors then this is the one that you have to try not the exact specific variant but they do have different shade variants you can definitely check it out so for video sake i'm showing you this variant but the one that i would genuinely want to recommend to you guys is this one it's called nights out night out they do have a black shade i have talked more about the palette in another one of my tutorial that will be live soon so stay tuned for that so yeah i would like to recommend you this eyeshadow palette they are somewhere around 300 to 350 which is again quite affordable also with the offer time you can purchase it for an even more affordable price so yeah that's that with nika those are the only options if you really like to invest on different eyeshadow color theme palettes then i would recommend you to try the three color palette kits from nika k it's the combo not the kit it's their combo and they are quite affordable you can definitely check them out also the quality of the eyeshadow palettes are too good just one or two colors from the palette they don't actually perform that great but with all the shimmer colors and other matte colors I mean it's a very decent eyeshadow color if you want to play around or practice different shades or just simply have like fun eye looks then you can definitely check their combos as well they are too good to invest so brand wise if we want to see another brand that I would genuinely like to recommend to you would be K-Beauty I really like all the launches from the brand okay the first one i would like to show you about their foundation now if you're on the dry skin side you can definitely check this out again they do have like uh, different shades the formulation is too good uh, i mean it gives like a nice dewy skin like finish works great on dry skin like i said it also lasts super long i really like it. it's very very light in weight and only when my skin feels like dry or if it feels like that particular day it's not appropriate for any foundation application then i go for this because it just works like a daily day foundation or a bb cream or something to you know wear on a daily basis uh, it just kind of feels like that i definitely want you guys to try this out as well it's nice it's good it's great for dry skin people the next one that i'm going to show you is something that i talk about a lot in my videos i have already talked to you guys about this product you guys must have known that i am a huge fan of k beauty's loose powders i use shade caramel to set the outer perimeters of my face and to highlight my face i use either pecan or olive uh, so today i have toffee i just recently tried toffee it's not like a perfect soothing color but i would not buy it again or stock it again i've already placed my 
caramel and olive uh, restock purchase order so i really want you guys to try this powder as well it's very finely milled it keeps your oil under control it keeps the makeup on the place it's so nice so photographs so well it's another one of my favorite loose powders in the market that's on the affordable side. K-Beauty's products are slightly on the expensive side only. It's not like too expensive and too affordable as well. So I always, always, always look for like um, offer times and I stock my favorite products from K-Beauty during offer time. From K-Beauty, I think that's it. You can also check out their blush, but I'm not going to recommend, but I really like their blush, uh, their cream, cream blush their lipsticks lip crayons lip crayons are my favorite okay they are super long lasting you know what i'm just going to put that in because it's too good i don't have any at the moment i think yeah here i have one it's called papped i have been using this for the longest time i would say i really like the color and they also stay super long guys it does not leave your lip dry it just is so good on the lips all the colors suits indian skin tone i tried all their colors but i have like two to three shades from the range because again they are quite expensive for a lip crayon but it's worth investing you can get one bold color and one nude color from their range that's it i also would like to recommend their eyebrow pencil and lip liner i mean i can blindly recommend you 70 percent of k-beauty products okay enough of me talking about k-beauty let's move on to the next one i'm going to show you some of my favorites from kiro kiro is another one of my favorite brands this is a clean beauty brand and uh, it's a skincare infused makeup line i would like to recommend you their blush and highlighters the one main reason is that they are dual toned i mean they have two different products two different shades basically not products two different shades you can invest on one pan and you can get two colors the formulation is good the pigmentation is good they do also have like um similar variety of highlighter you can definitely check them out as well if you have like a good deal and if you are convinced with the price then definitely go ahead and check this out because again it is similarly priced as the k beauty one it's not super expensive and it's not super affordable as well so keep an eye if you get like good offers on kiro do check them out i also would like to recommend their kajal and eyeliner products they are too good as well their liquid lipsticks are also too good these are like some additional bonus recommendations okay i'm not putting that in the video but if you want no i think i'll give you the product links as well in the description box for these products you can definitely check them out so what else do we have here so from maybelline i would like to recommend the sky high mascara a good affordable option if you don't really want to put like a thousand bucks for a mascara you can definitely go ahead and check this out it's quite affordable and the performance is great i mean maybelline mascaras are always the best you get one wash product one wash mascara out of like 10 mascaras from maybelline so i blindly recommend maybelline mascaras okay that's it for maybelline because i've already shown like so many of my favorites from maybelline so i'm not going to waste the time over here but you can check out their fit me foundation range they are too good okay then for color bar i have a blush from color bar so this one is their cheek illusion blush cheek illusion blush blush cheek illusion blush I have the shade Coral Bliss. You can check out their, I forgot the name, but that's one of my, Bronzing Glaze. Is that the name? Bronzing Glaze. I think so. That's my favorite shade. I broke it. I think I don't have one right now with me, which doesn't make me so super sad because I don't want to invest on another blush now but I highly recommend these blushes from color bar they are super pigmented super finely milled beautifully blends and the shade range it suits Indian skin tone even a deeper dusky skin tone can pull out any color from the range so I highly recommend this blush from color bar for lipstick I would recommend you the moisture matte long stay lipstick from mama earth I love them I have one on my lips right now I do have a little bit of lip balm as well but they are so matte, so comfortable on the lips, so creamy in finish and it also settles down to this nice velvety matte finish, very comfortable on the lips, stays super long, smudge proof, waterproof, foot proof, I really like but you guys want to give like a good touch up after like 4 to 5 hours but that doesn't matter because 
they have great pigmentation and the stain it stays on the lips so even if the lipstick moves away or removes or disappears you get some tint on your lips so it's not going to be a big deal you can definitely touch it up it's travel friendly as well so yeah i highly recommend the lipstick from mama earth this one in specific from mama earth so yeah another lipstick that i recently am in love with is the plum liquid lipstick i have the shade wine to go one beautiful nice plummy shade for dusky skin tone i'm looking forward to work this color for the upcoming winter time i really love this color the formulation is great the lasting power is great i mean the pigmentation is not too great you have to apply like two to three times to get the actual color on your lips especially if your lips are on the pigmented side i have my upper lip darker than my lower lip so i have to like reapply two to three times but once after reapplying it just stays there it also has some staining power which is nice i like lip products that has staining powers so yeah i recommend you this liquid lipstick from plum as well they do also have like super different beautiful shade range so yes i have one recommendation from l'oreal which is their infallible full wear concealer i'm not going to show you the exact product because mine looks disgusting because i use this a lot and the prints are almost gone and it looks so bad okay so i'm just giving you like a quick little shoot of how the product actually looks but you'll definitely find the link right so definitely check it out i love the formulation of this concealer i definitely want nika to bring all the dark shades from this range they have launched only like three shades but i believe they have so many other shades from this uh range this specific infallible full wear concealer range that's the problem in india all the deeper darker shades are either not available or priced super high than the normal shades that are like fast selling which actually kind of makes me happy because i think the market considers dusky skin people expensive i don't know at this point i have to convince myself just like this but i really want nika to launch all the dark shades that's available in the range that's my humble request I don't know to whom I'm addressing or asking this request to but I hope it happens one day. So yeah with that I would like to end the video here. I know I have not covered like so many brands like Lakme and Face is Canada I know but the options I have given you are like more than enough I believe so do check it out before the sale time ends and I think the sale ends on November 28th. So you do have like 4 to 5 days. Do check it out. Happy shopping and share with me what are the products that you have placed order as well. So that's it for today's video. I will see you all in my next one soon guys. Bye.